Howdy folks, I'm the Neat Nutcracker, noisily nabbing nutritious nuts. I'm Amber. And here are more nutritious nuts for us to nab. Let's get started. Alright folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for asking my wife and daughter to leave the house if they don't want to reside with my son? My wife Rachel, a 35-year-old female, and I, a 35-year-old male, have been married for many years now. And I also have a daughter, Leah, a 14-year-old female. I'm not proud of it. But I had another child while I was married with Rachel through another relationship. That's Aiden, a 12-year-old male. I love how he coaches this in <laughs> such terms like, I, I had another relationship. <laughs> yeah. I, you cheated. You cheated. Mm -hmm. I kept it a secret from then, and I paid child support to her mother. I was meeting absolutely all of the expenses. She herself had a good job anyways. She passed away recently, and Aiden was alone. I did not want my son to suffer like that without any parents. The reason that I did not reveal his identity to Rachel and Leah is that I didn't want to cause a fight, but now I had no choice. I went through all of the proper procedures to get custody of Aiden. I made him live in my house. My wife and Leah did not take it well. They went absolutely ballistic when they learned about him. And Rachel screamed about how I shouldn't even dare to think of letting him take even a step inside. Leah was saying the same kind of stuff, but I didn't back down. And they eventually had to be fine with the decision. They have been absolutely livid about it. And Rachel has been demanding to get Aiden away from the house. I told her that I'm not going to do that. And I warned her against doing anything to him. Leah got mad and asked me whether I value someone who was born out of a person who is promiscuous and I lost my temper. I got up and I asked them to get out of the house if they do not want to reside with Aiden. In the end, Rachel was crying and they're not talking to me. And edit. No, I don't want Leah absent from my life. And Aiden is also my own son. I have the right to bring him into my house as a father. For those who are gleefully saying that they hope that Rachel divorces me, I'd rather have Aiden in my life than live with Rachel or Leah without him. I'm rich and I can make my own path and find another wife if I want to. Absolutely nothing justifies the language that Leah used. Using that language absolutely blames him, his mother, and is ostracism. Yes, also Rachel used some questionable wording. I forgot to mention that as well. And yes, this is my house, it's theirs as well, but I legally own it. Yes, I gave them time to process it. I did not bring Aiden in all of a sudden, just to clarify. All right, folks, what do you think? Yeah, OP is a major jerk here. I mean, let me count the ways. One, he has an affair that results in a child that he, too, hides from them for 12 years. Mm -hmm. And then three, all of a sudden, he's like, yeah, I'm moving this kid in. You don't have a say. Rachel and leah should have a say in who resides in their house i understand that aiden is op's son the way op is making unilateral demands it's very clear this isn't a partnership this is a dictatorship and what he says goes and so while i don't approve of the shaming language yeah um rachel and leah are also under a lot of uh emotional distress it doesn't sound like anything has been done to address that he's just like yep yeah, i'm moving them in you can leave if you don't like it and that's not any way to handle a situation like this well it seems with op it's my way or the highway mm -hmm. and i understand op wanting his son to be taken care of and i think that that's perfectly fine i think that's perfectly reasonable op has been deceitful for a very long time. He should have come clean from the very beginning when he had the affair. That way his wife could have made a decision about whether or not she wanted to stay with him at the time. He didn't give her that opportunity. He basically tried to hide this and would have continued to hide it. But now it's come to a point in time when he can no longer just get away with this and hide it. So he has to suffer the consequences. Except he doesn't suffer any consequences. Yeah. The only people who are everyone else is suffering the consequences. Yeah. And honestly, I think that this would be a fault divorce. I mean, if there are fault divorces where OP lives, him cheating on his wife and having a child from that relationship, I'm sure is enough proof that OP breached their wedding contract. Certainly. I just hope that she's able to get a good lawyer and take him to the cleaners. I really think this is unfortunate. I do think that them using the language that they did was not great. 
Right. And none of this is Aiden's fault. Like, they really should yeah. be directing their anger toward OP because he's the one who's making unilateral decisions. I understand the frustration and the hurt, but they're taking their feelings out on the wrong person. I understand not wanting to live with Aiden because they're going to, every time they see him, they're going to think of what the dad did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do really feel like there needs to be some kind of counseling here. Oh, like, yeah. If the mother is staying with him, then is it really going to be a happy household? Is he really think that this is going to be a good situation where... Well, that's the other thing is, is he, it sounds like he's probably expecting Rachel to step up and be a parent to Aiden. And like, that's not fair. You can't just tell someone, oh, by the way, you're a, a mom to this kid now. Yeah. Like, does he do the child care around the house? Does he do, like, any of the housework? Or is he expecting Rachel to shoulder that whole burden? Oh, I'm guessing he expects other people to sh shoulder that burden because that's exactly what it seems like. I provided him with all of his expenses, so it was fine. Yeah. He didn't have a dad. You just gave him money. Mm -hmm. oh, you're you're not a wallet. <laughs> I think this is just a really sad situation. I hope OP can take some time and reflect and try to understand why what they did is actually not great. Mm -hmm. Well, his edit makes things worse because it yeah. sounds like he's like convinced that I'm going to do what I want because that's how I live my life. I don't care about anyone else's feelings. It's all me, me, me. Yeah, exactly. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck to everyone else but OP. Mm -hmm. And Affectionate Wheel 386 says, you're the jerk. Give her a divorce and let her move on from this horrible part of her life. I don't think you know how badly you destroy people when you cheat. Some of them never ever recover again and are able to love. This is despicable behavior and frankly, give her a divorce and just let her go. Leave your wife and your daughter in the house and go find an apartment for yourself. Kicking them out is ridiculous. She didn't do anything. You did all of it. You are the jerk. And what's more, she had zero time to prepare. No backwards information. All of this is a shock to your wife. How can you even be so angry with her is beyond me. I'm sure that your affair partner had a family and people this boy could live with. You were sabotaging your marriage and your whole life for a child who create, you created out of wedlock. I would first look for other family members that can take him in. And if you have to find an apartment for him, you can. And divorce your wife so that she can move on from this and try to recover. I mean, I did actually want to talk about the amount of time that she's had to prepare for this. He's had, what, 12 years? Yep. And she's had uh, however much time it's been right. since he revealed this. Yeah, Opie's like, oh, no, no, it wasn't instantaneous. But, like, she didn't have 12 years to process and grapple with this information. Yeah. You know, it, there never was a point, like, where Opie's like, oh, hey, by the way, if my affair partner dies, I'm taking in the kid. Like, mm -hmm. this was all in a very short window of time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a few days or a month, but, like, that's still not enough time to process some this upheaval. Yeah. And I also wanted to point out that I don't think that OP has stopped cheating. I think they've just gotten better at it. Probably. I mean, I don't think OP has a shred of decency in yeah. their body. But if they do, get a divorce, give Rachel and Leah like an actual equitable portion of assets so yeah. that they can have a good life. Because I have a feeling that OP is just a scorched earth person too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it doesn't, I feel so bad for Rachel and Leah in this situation because I don't feel like there's any good outcome unless they can get a really good divorce lawyer. Yeah. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for thinking that my husband is showing favoritism? My husband and I have been married for about a year. He has a 10-year-old Nia and I have a 9-year-old Adeline. My husband is the kind of guy who considers himself very manly. He won't do anything that he considers feminine. For example, if I need tampons, I have to buy them myself because he thinks it's too feminine for him to do it. However, he's a hypocrite because he does everything that Nia asks him to do. For example, Nia loves doing makeup on other people and my husband lets her use him as a model. Well, yesterday I got home to my husband kneeling in front of Nia and polishing her toenails. Adeline asks me to polish her nails for her. I was busy preparing the dinner, so I asked my husband to do it. And he told me that he's not comfortable doing this, it's too feminine. I told him, then why was he comfortable doing this for Nia? He told me to ask Adeline's dad to do it. And I told him that Adeline's dad is not here right now. Just do it. And he refused again. I told him that he is a jerk and a hypocrite for showing favoritism. He called me a jerk. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? I mean, I don't think you're the jerk here for asking him to do this, to treat the kids equally. Uh, this is a very 
weird way to be and uh I do think you'll be a jerk if you keep subjecting your daughter to this man. Like, his views are really gross, and I just... Well, I think that he should be entitled to do things if he wants to do them or not, but his motivations behind doing them are, is completely wrong and backwards. Like, I think that him being asked to do something, and if he doesn't have time or doesn't want to, is perfectly reasonable to decline and say, no, I don't want to do that right now. His reasoning of oh, it's too feminine, I think is a terrible reasoning, especially when he doesn't seem to even have a problem doing it for his own daughter. Well, it's made it clear, very clear, that he doesn't see Adeline as his child. Yes. And I think this is going to breed uh, a lot of resentment. Oh, yeah. And like, I don't think this is a good environment for Adeline to grow up in if her stepdad is always making it clear that he doesn't care about her, you know, he won't do things for her because she's not biologically his child. Yeah, and I mean, again... This is someone who he's supposed to be a stepfather to, mm -hmm. and he's not acting like that at all. He's just basically acting like she doesn't matter and is unimportant. And like, what in a few years, you know, what if you're out and your daughter needs tampons? Like, mm -hmm. he's he's going to be like, nope, I can't get them. Go get them yourself to like a 12 year old. Yeah. Like, I don't see this going well. I don't either. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Lee Z says, why did you marry a man who's afraid of buying tampons for you? Edit, you're the jerk. You knew how he was and decided to marry him and subject your daughter to him anyways. You can't act all surprised when he behaves in the way that he has always behaved. I mean, I, it does seem like this is not out of the blue. Mm -hmm. And Haunting Skin 9467 says, OMG Jesus, my husband used to keep tampons in the passenger door of his trunk for me and my daughter for emergency reasons. He's definitely a keeper. And Seaworthiness 139 says, you're the jerk for marrying Mr. Red Flag while you already have a daughter who should be your priority. Didn't you see it coming that someone who can't buy tampons will not be the best stepdad for your girl? And Stellar Phenom 420 says, everyone's in the wrong. You're the jerk for putting your child into a situation with a man who is this way. Why marry a man who isn't interested in even being a friendly adult to your child? He's a jerk, of course, for his double standards and views. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here. And Amber, she has a joke. What happens to a mummy when it falls in the Nile River? All right. Well, I can tell you exactly what happens to a mummy when it falls in the Nile River. So what happens first is it says, oh, I can't possibly be in the water. And so it just sits there until it starts sinking. And then when its head is starting to go under and it starts drowning, it starts actually like bashing the water and trying to swim and saying, why is this happening? I'm not in the water. I'm not in the water as though it were in just in denial. <laughs> It gets what? It gets what? <laughs> that too. That too. And I <laughs> make a mint. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Wednesday. I think so. It's right. Yeah. Happy Wednesday. Friday, Junior's Eve. Hump day, even. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance and have it in exactly two words divorce him divorce him divorce them both <laughs> divorce them both thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow bye howdy folk uh folk one person <laughs> hello person out there i hope you're having a great wednesday <laughs> to you an individual i'm individually addressing every single person who watches these videos from now on <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.